Custom staircases can be extremely expensive and unfortunately out of my budget. So I thought I could make some myself at a fraction of the cost. Since I own quite an arsenal of tools already, all I would be needing are the materials. In this case, that consists of a lot of lumber and glue. I started off by gluing lots of 2x4s together, which would later become the stair treads. I used a paint roller to apply the glue evenly and, more importantly, quickly. There were lots of boards that needed glue and I didn't want any sections not adhering properly. I glued the 2x4s no wider than 13 inches. That way, I could use my DeWalt planer to smooth the surface quickly. Some of the stair treads will be much wider and I'll be gluing two sections together later on after all the planing is finished, making it much easier to sand later on. Now, when gluing the 2x4s together, I used parchment paper below to prevent the glue from getting on my clamps. I learned this lesson the hard way, of course. After cutting all the stair treads to final dimensions, I moved on to making the single beam that would carry the weight of all the treads. The beam consists of four 2x6s glued together and the boards were 16 feet long. This weight and size made it very interesting when it came to planing the sides flat. I used my circular saw to cut through the beam partially and finished it off with my sawzall, which is compatible with longer blades. The beam would be supported on the concrete floor on one side and on the other against the wall. I joined sections of the beam together using Festool dominoes and glue alone. The end of the beam, which would be down against the concrete, I used a pressure treated 2x10, which was attached to the beam using 9 dominoes and anchored to the concrete using concrete bolts. I also added plenty of Loctite Max Premium for good measure. I used lag screws to attach the other end of the beam to the wall frame. Gluing the dominoes into the beam prior to setting it made it much easier to install. As you might have noticed here, I required the help of my better half when it came to getting the beam set into place. I measured out the last part of the beam which would turn up towards the loft area. This section would rest on the beam and against the loft floor joists, which aren't currently finished. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you guys back here for part 2 of this build.